Hello, my name is T. Robinson. I'm an author and I live in London. One of my jobs is to write books about a famous cat who lives right here on Tower Bridge. Her name is Bella. Bella is a smart cat. She often has to give the bridge master clever advice. Bella is brave and she's extremely daring. Everyone just calls her the Tower Bridge Cat. Um, I'm going to read you her first adventure. I want you to look out for Her Majesty the Queen being in big danger, a flying, jumping red London bus, and fantastic fireworks. Shall we get started? The Tower Bridge Cat. Story by T. Dobinson. Illustrations by Steve Cox. Bella is the Bridge Master's cat. She lives on Tower Bridge. Today is a very special day at Tower Bridge because it's the Queen's birthday. Bella, who always wears a little gold tag on her collar, is going to be exceedingly busy. First, Bella had breakfast with the bridge master. Then the bridge master, who always looked very grand in his uniform, announced, The Queen's Royal Barge is passing under the bridge today and we're having a party afterwards. Can you check everyone is ready, please, Bella? Meow, meow, I'll do it now, Bella replied. Bella padded down to the engine rooms and stopped at the boiler room. Stan the stoker, who had muscles like cannonballs, was busy shoveling coal. Hello, Bella, grinned Stan. I've grilled the sausages ready for the party. Just let me know when the Queen's barge is coming. Next, she visited the identical steam pumps. The twins, Eddie the engineer, who always wears a green hat and a red neckerchief, and Ollie the oiler, who always wears a red hat and a green neckerchief, are busy at work. Hello, Bella. It's doubly exciting today. The twins chorused in unison. We will see the Queen on her barge, beamed Ollie. And then it's our royal birthday party up top, smiled Eddie. I'm bringing the record player, declared Ollie. And I'm bringing the records, added Eddie. We can't wait. The Tower Bridge kitchen was the third stop on Bella's route. Hannah the cook who always had a lovely smile, was icing an enormous birthday cake. Hi, Bella. Can you watch out for mice, please? asked Hannah. I don't want anyone nibbling my cake. Later, Bella waited in the Tower Bridge control cabin. She watched the boats coming up the river and she looked at the clock. She watched the boats going down the river and she looked at the clock. Time passed very slowly. Finally, Bella could see the royal barge in the distance. Meow, meow, the Queen is coming now. Bella rushed down to the engine room to get Stan the stoker. Meow, meow, bring the sausages now. Stan picked up the sausages and, wearing his stylish jacket, sprinted up to get a good view. Next, Bella charged across to collect Eddie the engineer and Ollie the oiler. Meow, meow, bring the music now. The twins picked up the record player and the records and raced each other up to the top. Then Bella dashed down to find Hannah the cook. Meow, meow, bring the cake now. Hannah the cook put on her very best hat, picked up the cake and walked very slowly and carefully up the stairs. Hannah the cook, Stan the stoker, Eddie the engineer and Ollie the oiler lined up for the bridge master. Everyone looked spick and span. Meow, meow, all ready now, Bella told the bridge master. The Tower Bridge team joined the crowds of people waiting to see the Queen pass under the bridge on her royal barge. The bridge master led the cheers as the giant bascals of Tower Bridge began to lift. Oh no! Bella noticed that the traffic lights were still green and a bus was beginning to cross the bridge. 
Bella leapt up and bounded towards it. The passengers, who were all dressed up and heading to their own royal birthday party, noticed something was wrong. All their hats were falling off. Stop the bus, cried one passenger. Bella made a breathtaking leap onto the back of the bus and raced towards the bus driver. The bus girls were getting higher. The gap in the middle was getting wider. The Queen's barge was getting nearer. Babs, the bus driver, was unsure what to do. Could she stop the bus in time? Meow, meow, go faster now! Babs, the bus driver, put her foot down hard on the pedal. The bus went faster and then jumped over the gap between the rising arms of the bridge. Everyone on the bus held on to their seat. They were flying. Whoosh! Bang! The bus landed on the other side of the bridge and rolled down the road. Bella checked all the passengers. Everyone was safe. Whew! The crowds cheered Babs the bus driver for being so brave. Meow, meow! Three cheers now! Hooray! The crowds replied. As the bus girls stood to attention, the royal barge glided under Tower Bridge. The Queen smiled and waved at everyone, and everyone smiled and waved back. Afterwards, Eddie the engineer looked at the bus. The wheel is broken, Babs the bus driver told the passengers. Now we can't get to our party. Everyone was so disappointed that no one noticed Bella whispering to the bridge master. The bridge master clapped his hands and made an announcement. Don't worry everybody, you can all join our royal birthday party on Tower Bridge instead. And they did. Bella, the bridge master, Stan the stoker, Eddie the engineer, Ollie the oiler, Hannah the cook, Babs the bus driver and all the passengers thought it was the best party ever. When all the records had been played, all the sausages had gone and every crumb of cake had been eaten, there was a very special ending. Meow, meow, said Bella. Fireworks now! And let's give Bella the final word in our story. Meow, meow, that's the end now. Isn't Bella fantastic? You know, the Tower Bridge Cat has lots of adventures. Another one that I really like is when a baby whale gets stuck under the bridge and Bella has to rescue him. But that's a story for another day. Right now, I'm saying bye from London. Love to you wherever you are.